The mashup mania is back in Clash of Clans and with it comes the old mashup troops, a new ice minion troop, great rewards, and the newest epic equipment, the Lava Loon Puppet. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the best and easiest ways for you to complete the event, whether or not you should buy the event pass, as well as the best rewards in the shop for both free to play players and spenders. You will be introduced to the event by the Gothic Builder, who will lead you to the Hydra Headstone, which is an insanely cool decoration. Now to get sour elixir you need to destroy three random buildings in multiplayer attacks. At the start of the event you can get 300 sour elixir per attack but this is going to change throughout the event and I have a chart here that is detailing exactly how many you can get based on which day you hit. It is important to note however that players who are in legend league will get a 15% bonus. Now if you're trying to get the event done really fast so that you can get the brand new piece of equipment well you're gonna be really happy about this event because for from the very start of the event, you will have the Lava Loon unlocked and the rest is history. 12 Zap Lava Loon is still what it was last year. It is going to be extremely powerful and fun to use, so you should be able to finish the event super quick. Along the way, you will unlock the familiar troops of the previous edition of the mashup event and the brand new troop, the Ice Minion. Now the Ice Minion is a really interesting troop. It doesn't do all that much damage, but it slows down the defenses that it hits. On top of that, when it is destroyed it will freeze the defense for two and a half seconds. Compare this to the max level freeze spell which actually freezes for five and a half seconds. In essence two ice minions for a total of eight housing space is almost the same thing as a single freeze spell. The issue with the ice minion however is that they are really soft so you're gonna need good tanks in front of them. I tried using lava loons as their tank but I'm gonna be honest with you lava loons are just strong enough as it is they don't need any help but I think a great way to use them is with mass dragons because they'll actually freeze the defenses on the way and they'll help to push quite a bit. Regardless, I will have a video detailing the best attack strategies with each mashup troop and that video will come out tomorrow so stay tuned for that. Now once you complete the pass and the bonus track, a free to play player will have 3750 medals. For 3100 of those medals, you should get the Lava Loon Puppet. Now I know there's going to be a lot of questions of whether or not the Lava Loon Puppet is actually good. Other than the fact that it spawns the most loved troop in Clash of Clans history, but I can almost guarantee that it'll be worth getting because not only does it kill at the middle town hall levels, but it can also get buffed if it's not strong enough in the future. But for those of you that want the full analysis on the Lava Loon Puppet and all of its caveats, I already have this video on the channel and I'm going to be linking it at the end of this video. But back to the free to play rewards, with the remaining 650 medals, you should get two packs of Starry Ore. Even if Supercell gives us extra medals during this event, I still think Starry Ores are the best purchase for free to play players. Now if for whatever reason you're not interested in the Lava Loon Puppet, then I would highly recommend the 3x3 decoration, the Bubble Boil Cauldron. This is easily one of my favorite decorations in the game now. Not only is it constantly animated at all time and has amazing design, but it also has a really cool interactive feature. Every time you click on the cauldron, an item spawns above it and drops into the cauldron. This could range from chickens to skulls to even bats. After a while, the cauldron will say enough and it's basically just going to vomit right out in front of it. Genuinely one of the coolest decorations to date in my opinion. And just to clarify, I would not recommend you ball out on ores as a free to play player instead of the equipment or the decoration, simply because buying an equipment later on for 1500 gems is a really steep price as a free to play player. Now at this point, you might be wondering if the event pass is worth buying for $5 so let's analyze that. For those of you that follow along in the community tab, you guys know that I do deals analysis every time there's an offer in the shop. And for $5, we generally like to get at least one book since a book of heroes costs 500 gems anyways. This pass will give you 5,500 bonus medals, which you guys will see later on can get you a ton of books. But even aside from that, you get 600 glowy ores and 80 starry ores. With constant wars and a 50% win rate, a town hall 16 can generate an average of 4.5 starry ores per day. Therefore, 80 starry ores can help a max account skip 17.8 days. And for lower level town halls, it could be a lot more than this. So even if you don't buy the books with the extra medals, the pass is worth it for the starry ores alone. Just make sure you do support a creator if you do end up getting the pass. My code is BD if you're interested. Now, if you do go ahead and get the pass, you will have a maximum of 9 
9,250 medals to work with. There are a number of combinations that you can get, but I'm going to go ahead and break down what I think are the best ones for each and every player. The first and most general combination is the one that is going to get you the fastest progression. I recommend getting the Lava Loon Puppet for 3,100 medals, six packs of Starry Ores for 1,920 medals, and two books between the Books of Building and the Books of Fighting. This will leave you with 430 leftover medals that you can use on smaller potions or just wait until we get a voucher. Now the reason this is the best combination is as follows. The six packs of Starry Ores can save you between 13.3 and 26.6 days and the two books of building or books of fighting can save you between 24 to 30 days if you use them how I recommend. Meaning that you can have a potential time skip of 37.3 days to 56.6 days which is insanity and it is amazing value. Now technically you could get even more days if you didn't buy the Lava Loon Puppet but I really really don't recommend that. Also the Glowy Ore offer doesn't really save you that many days. For a Titan or above player you can get the 60 Glowy Ores or more every single day if we factor in wars. Now if you bought the pass and you want to get the equipment and the decoration which I fully understand then I would recommend the following rewards. The Lava Loon Puppet for 3100 medals, the Bubble Boy Cauldron for 3100 medals, 6 packs of Starry Ores, 1 book of heroes and then finish with potions, probably the 2 training potions. This is a really solid pack that not only gets you good time skip but also a great decoration so I would highly recommend this for players who love the new decoration just like myself. However if you really really love decorations then I would highly recommend you throw out the book of heroes for the jailbroken box decoration. And guys let me tell you this thing is awesome because it's going to shake every few seconds and then there's gonna be some eyes that peer out from inside the box. In fact I think all three of the decorations that we're getting for this event are literally amazing and I'm really proud of the team for it. Also just to be complete if you're a fully maxed Town Hall 16 you would simply get the decoration pack that I just mentioned or just get the Lava Loon Puppet and as many ores as possible. Overall I think this is a phenomenal event with great rewards but the biggest question right now is whether or not the Lava Loon Puppet is any good. The Lava Loon Puppet is an equipment for the Grand Warden and it functions by spawning either one or two Lava Loons whenever you activate it. This chart right here summarizes some of the levels for the Lava Loon Puppet as well as the boosts that you get from them and as you guys can see when we get to level 9 we actually get a second Lava Loon. That being said it's not as easy or as simple as looking at one chart to determine whether or not this equipment is good. Luckily for you guys I have spent hours testing this piece of equipment and I found out that it's actually broken. And if you guys want to know the best ways to use it to get insane results then you should go ahead and check out this video right here where I break down every detail you could ever want to know about the Lava Loon Puppet.